Hello ITPC, this is Steve and you're watching Smoking Cardboard. I am smoking my sandblasted Mark Tinsky pipe. You probably can't see that very well. It's billiard with a saddle bit. And in it, I am smoking, probably put it in the title, Old Rattray's Old Gowry. Now this was one of the blends that I wanted to try this year. Smoked 10 blends of, and I have to say, this is delicious. I think this is my fourth smoke. Um, third one in this pipe. Tried it once in another pipe and it wasn't as great. So I went back to the, the pipe that was tasting best. So this thing uh, says, Old Gowry is a broken flake which combines dark Virginia's fired Kentucky and a hint of Perique. It is pressed and then cut and hand rubbed. Hand rubbed? Mm. You can see it's a, a, a very nice broken flake. It's kind of like a C&D flake with a little extra rub. Which I really like because they, I find, uh, I have a good time packing those pipes, that those pipes turn out well, smoking well. Drinking some water. Now this blend tastes uh, Virginia forward to me. And uh, get a lot of grassiness out of this. Now this is from 2000. 20. So it's probably about three years old now at this point. But you definitely get the Kentucky. Uh, woody. Like a barbecue -y flavor that's on it with a, a hit of the spice, which could be coming from the Kentucky or the Pre. But it's really light on the Kentucky. Really delicious. Definitely uh, seems like a, a blend that if I could only have one, it would be a fine blend to have. These come in like a hundred grand tins that are like this, which are really nice because they age well. Um, you just pop the tin, but it leaves a nice bit of air in there. Uh, and that helps them uh, age a little bit faster than vacuum sealed tins. But really tasty stuff. Don't know that a lot has happened since I uh, last made a video, but me and I have been really, really busy doing said things. And that's okay. kind of have to force myself to make this video because I just want to relax. I think I've been able to smoke uh, three pipes total between this one and the other ones. Maybe not even that. I don't know. Made it to another musical. 
traveling Broadway show, Chicago. That was kind of an interesting show. It was alright. I wouldn't go back to it. The one that I saw that was fantastic was the filler on the roof. That one was great. Didn't know what to expect with that, but I came away being like, oh, really fun. Uh, Broadway musical to watch. March Madness is right around the corner. And uh, trying to get my kids to participate. I don't know. Something about filling out a bracket makes you care a little bit more, even if you don't know anything about basketball. And I don't. So I said, uh, whoever does the best, get $5 if you fill it out. And all but one kid will participate. <laughs> they feel bad about taking my $5, that's what they said. So I said, well, just fill it out with all the worst teams, and then you won't win. And apparently, uh, my brother has always done a... Uh, collection of brackets and whoever does the best in his wins a bag of candy so I'm entering them all in that so they have double chance to win I filled out a bracket I picked a very unlikely team to win I picked uh, I think Gonzaga I like watching them play in other tournaments I've I've not watched a single basketball game this year. Kind of shame that Wisconsin's out. Nebraska's out. Creighton's in. They're a Nebraska team. But anyway. Uh, what else? I was going to say something else. Oh. So there was a realization. We uh, had provided some food to uh, this Ukrainian family. Uh, just filled their pantry with stuff that's normal for the U.S. And one of the things that's very normal here is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And it was funny because it took me a little bit to realize that... A Ukrainian family would have no clue, one, what peanut butter is, two, well, maybe they have a clue of what peanut butter is, but it's not like a thing like it is here, nor to put peanut butter and jelly together on bread. They admitted they had tried uh, peanut butter on bread and by itself, and it wasn't great. So I took it up uh, as a mission to teach them how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And they all uh, thought it was it was good. It was delicious. It's kind of uh, fascinating how uh, things that you think are so common you never have to teach anyone are completely foreign to someone else. Um, all the things. Also, English is a horrible language, you know. I'm sitting there trying to, to talk into a translator to uh, speak. And... Uh, you realize how many of our English words have like multiple meanings. And so now all of a sudden you have to like concentrate and think to use words that can only mean the things which you mean. And it makes communication pretty difficult. I've also been uh, learning trying to learn Russian as uh, their first language and I found that I needed to learn the alphabet and it's it's pretty challenging 
They have a lot of the same letters, but they make different sounds. And uh, they think that it's very close. And I believe that they would know whether or not it's close because they know the English alphabet. And I just have to disagree. <laughs> but I'm getting there. And that's kind of fun learning that. There's these apps where you can uh, learn another language with like little lessons. And it kind of makes you stop and think and go, man, with like 15, 30 minutes a day, you know, when you're just normally scrolling through nothing, I could be learning a whole nother language and I could know that language by now if I spent all those years that I was just randomly scrolling through crap that I probably could converse in another language and so my kids liked uh, that out and they're learning uh, Spanish for their classes through that and it's just the sort of thing that's like, man, if I had learned, if I had an app like that and I could have learned Spanish through it, that would have meant so much uh, for my learning of Spanish through those classes. Which would have been beneficial at one point in time. Uh, when I lived in Nebraska, we had a lot of, um, I don't know which nationalities per se, but they spoke Spanish. And I worked in uh, a hardware store, and you would get these um, kids that are just like six years old. And they're trying to translate for their parents what they need. And I'll be in the plumbing department. And these kids, they did a really good job of translating. But they had no clue what these specific terms <laughs> translated from English to Spanish because they didn't even know them in any language whatsoever. Would have been helpful to know another language. Anyway, Old Gowrie, really tasty stuff. If you like a little bit of Kentucky in your Virginias, I would go for this one. And if you like this blend, you probably like uh, Amphora Burley. Uh, H. H. Burley. Mac Baron Golden Extra. Those type of blends. It's really good. Really good stuff. Um, I just smoke so infrequently that 100 grams will last me a long time. That said, I would like to sock some away. It's good. Alright. Well. Appreciate, appreciate you all taking the time to watch. I am um, trying my best to keep up with videos with not having much time to watch them. But I like uh I like seeing you all. Anyway, wish you a great week. We'll talk to you later. Bye.